Welcome to Effector from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. This is the audio edition of EFF's email newsletter geared towards keeping you on the bleeding edge of your digital rights. Check the show notes for links to all of our stories. This is Effector Volume 34, Issue 4, titled My Body, My Data. This issue was published on Wednesday, June 29th, 2022, and I'm your host, Member Outreach Assistant Christian Romero. Let's start with our top feature. Digital Safety Tips for Those Seeking an Abortion EFF has put together digital safety tips for both people seeking an abortion to protect their privacy, as well as for providers of abortion access, as surveillance will increasingly lead to prosecutions of people exercising their right to choose. Now let's go through some EFF updates. EFF Statement on Dobbs Abortion Ruling As a privacy rights organization, EFF issues our statement on the Supreme Court ruling that will deprive tens of millions of people of a fundamental right, and legislation and policies in many parts of the country that will seek to erode their privacy. Next up, reproductive health care service provider, seeker, or advocate. If you or someone you know is concerned about unwanted data collection while navigating online resources, providing or seeking services, or organizing with others, check here for a list of guides to stay safe. Next up, pass the My Body, My Data Act. EFF supports Representative Jacobs' My Body, My Data Act, which would protect the privacy and safety of people seeking reproductive health care. Privacy fears should never stand in the way of health care. Next, reproductive privacy requires data privacy. EFF supports data privacy for all, and that includes people seeking reproductive health care. Next up, what companies can do now to protect digital rights in a post-row world. In a post-row world, service providers can expect a raft of subpoenas and warrants seeking user data that can be employed to prosecute abortion seekers, providers, and helpers. They can also expect pressure to aggressively police the use of their services to provide information that may be classified in many states as facilitating a crime. Whatever your position on reproductive rights, This is a frightening prospect for data privacy and online expression. Next, podcast episode, Wordle and the Web We Need. EFF Cindy Cohn and Danny O'Brien talk to Anil Dash, CEO of Glitch and EFF board member, about building more humane and inclusive technology and leveraging the love of art and culture into grassroots movements for an internet that truly belongs to us all. Next up, we finally have a federal fiber broadband plan. The Department of Commerce has published what is arguably the first federal government proposal that seeks to promote infrastructure policies focused on the future, rather than the usual subsidizing good enough now access. That means that the U.S. government finally recognizes what appears obvious. The future of internet access is in fiber. Next up, podcast episode, Securing the Vote. EFF Cindy Cohn and Danny O'Brien talk with Pamela Smith, President and CEO of Verified Voting about the future of elections, and the technology and best practices that will get us there. And now we've got a job posting. Talent and Training Coordinator. EFF is looking for a full-time talent and training coordinator to support applicants and staff throughout the recruitment, onboarding, and offboarding processes, and to support professional development opportunities for current staff. And now, let's run through some mini-links. First up from Democracy Now!, Encrypt, Obscure, Compartmentalize, Protecting Your Digital Privacy in a Post-Row World. EFF staff technologist Daley Barnett talks to Democracy Now! about how people can protect their digital privacy in view of heightened surveillance of pregnant people who are seeking reproductive health care. Next up from Technology Review, anti-abortion activists are collecting the data they'll need for prosecutions post-Row. Opponents of abortion have been using methods like license plate tracking for decades, regardless of the services that patients and visitors to clinics are seeking. MIT Technology Review talks about how body cams and other surveillance is ramping up at a time when these opponents will be seeking prosecutions against pregnant people and their supporters. Next up from Bloomberg Law, Amazon Worker Tracking prompts lawmaker call for safety probe. A federal watchdog should investigate whether worker surveillance tools threaten employee safety in warehouses and other workplaces, a U.S. House labor leader requested. And our last mini-link comes from CBS News. Cell phone data collection, tracking apps can help states prosecute women seeking abortions. Some tech companies are extending resources for reproductive access to their employees, 
but haven't commented about limiting the private data they are collecting. And that's it. Thanks for listening. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to sign up for the email version of Effector, which includes links to in-depth coverage of these stories and more. See past issues and subscribe at eff.org slash Effector. Before we end this issue of the newsletter, I just want to let you know that EFF is a member-supported nonprofit organization, and you can help us protect digital privacy, security, and free expression for everyone. Donate to EFF today, and even grab a bit of gear by heading over to EFF.org slash effect. That's EFF.org slash E-F-F-E-C-T. You can become a member for as little as $25, or even sign up as a monthly or annual donor. Thanks for your support, and I hope you'll join us for the next issue of Effector.